Singapore's central bank says that the local economy is set to pick up from the COVID-19 crisis in the second half of this year. But the bank's managing director, Ravi Menon, says that recovery is expected to be slow and uneven, weighed down by renewed outbreaks of infection. And he says that the economic situation remains dire. The Monetary Authority of Singapore is working with financial institutions to support job creation. It's also studying how to ease companies and those individuals off the COVID-19 relief measures. Michelle Chiu explains. Sectors like construction, travel-related, as well as consumer-facing domestic services have been at the epicentre of the economic impact from COVID-19. These account for roughly 12% of Singapore's GDP and contributed to the economy's estimated 6.5% slump in the first half of this year. While these sectors are expected to pick up in activity in the second half of this year, MES says it will not be sufficient for growth to restore to pre-crisis levels. Meanwhile, the performance of the trade-related sector will also be dampened by weak external demand. We are not at the beginning of the end, but rather at the end of the beginning. Growth rates will pick up, as you would expect coming from a very low base, but the level of activity will remain below pre-crisis levels for quite a while. Unemployment and corporate bankruptcies are likely to increase in the months ahead. We will enter 2021 with higher levels of debt in both the corporate and household sectors, which will act as a further drag on growth and could become a source of vulnerability. Still a bright spot remains in the financial services sector. MAS estimates that the sector grew by about 5% in the first half of this year, even faster than last year. Demand for roles in business development, financial analysis and software development in the sector and in fintech added 2,200 net jobs. To date, we have not seen an increase in retrenchments in the financial services or fintech sectors. Going into the second half, there could potentially be some net job loss, but this is not likely to be large. It is encouraging that some major financial institutions have committed not to shed any workers due to the COVID-19 crisis. For the year as a whole, MAS expects the financial services sector to still be a small net creator of jobs, albeit much lower than in previous years. The MS has worked with the financial industry to put together a relief package to help ease the financial strain on individuals and small-medium enterprises. Nearly 34,000 mortgage loans and over 5,300 secured loans from SMEs have had their repayments deferred. But the MAS cautioned that these deferred payments provide only temporary relief and come with longer-term costs. Deferment incurs interest cost, which means larger outstanding balances at the end of the deferment period. So MAS is actively discussing with the banks, finance companies and insurers on how to ease borrowers and policyholders into gradually resuming repayments when the relief measures expire towards the end of the year. We want to avoid cliff effects of a sudden withdrawal of these reliefs. The central bank plans to come up with a solution by October to help debtors prepare for their repayments.